In this mini clip, we will be solving exponential equations. Will we solve this question together? You'll be solving the similar problem on your own using the same technique. Now the question reads, if the half-life of a radioactive element is 37 years, how long would it take for 12 grams to decay, given that there was initially 15 grams of this element? So before we begin, let's just highlight the key points that's given to us in the question. We're first told that the half-life of the element is 37 years. That means that every 37 years, the mass of the element will be halved. So this is fairly important, so I'm going to highlight it. Next, the question is telling us that it wants us to find how long it would take for 12 grams to decay. So we have 12 grams that is being decayed, given that there was initially 15 grams of this element. So we started off with 15 grams of this element. Now the equation that we're going to use to help us solve this problem is A equal to A subscript 0 b all to the exponent t divided by c. So now we're going to go through what each one of these variables represents. a represents the final condition. a subscript 0 represents the original condition. b is how the element is increasing or decreasing in size. C represents the length of time for the element to increase or decrease B times. And lastly, we have that T represents the time elapsed. So now we're going to substitute our values into this equation. So I'm first just going to rewrite this down here. I'm going to start off with writing A subscript 0. a subscript 0, b to the exponent, t divided by c, is equal to a. So now we're going to substitute our values into this equation. So a subscript 0 was the original condition, or in other words, the initial condition. And if we were told that the initial condition or the initial mass of the element was 15 grams. So I'm going to substitute 15 in for A subscript 0. Next we have B. B is how the element is increasing or decreasing in size. So since we're dealing with half-life, we know that the element is being halved in size. So for B, we're going to put in the number 1 over 2 or half. T represents the time elapsed, and this is actually what we want to solve for, because they're asking us how long it would take for 12 grams to decay. So this is our unknown, so I'm going to leave T as a variable. C is the length of time for the element to increase or decrease B times. Now we know that our b is half, so we want to know how long does it take before our element is being halved. And in our case, it is 37 years. So for c, I'm going to substitute the number 37. Finally, we have a. This is the final condition. So in our case, what's going to be the final mass? Well, we started off with 15 grams and we know that 12 grams is being decayed. So 15 minus 12 will give us 3 grams left over. So our final mass of our element will be 3 grams. I would now like you to try doing this step in the question you are given. Here is the answer you should have got. Now, moving back to the question we were working on together, we now have to isolate for t. 
So the first thing we want to do is we want to divide each side by this 15 because we want to isolate for t. So we're going to divide this side here by 15. But whatever we do to one side of the equation, we need to do to the other side of the equation. So now 15 divided by 15 is 1. So we're just left with this here. So we have 1 half, all in brackets, to the exponent t divided by 37 is equal to now we can reduce this fraction. You'll notice that 3 goes into the numerator and denominator equally. So we will have 3 divided by 3 is 1, 15 divided by 3 is 5. I would now like you to try doing this step with the question you are given. Here's the answer you should have got. So now we want to isolate for our t, but we'll notice here that is in the exponent. So now we're going to have to take the ln of both sides. And I'll explain in a minute why it is that we're taking the ln of both sides. So we have the ln of 1 half to the exponent t divided by 37 is equal to now we're going to take the ln of this side as well. The ln of 1 over 5. Now the reason why we do this is because if we remember our ln properties, whenever we have ln of a number and then we have an exponent, we can get rid of this exponent by rewriting it in front of the ln. So what we will have is t over 37, so our exponent we're going to bring in front of our ln, and then we're just going to write ln of 1 half is equal to, and we're just going to leave this the way it is. So we have ln of 1 fifth here. The reason why we do this is because now it's a lot easier to isolate for our t because it is no longer in the exponent. So this is why we took the ln of both sides in this previous step here. I would now like you to try doing these two steps in the question you are given. Here's how your answer should look like. So now coming back to this question, we still want to isolate for our t. So now we're going to divide both sides by this ln 1 over 2. So I'm just going to bring this up here so we'll have some more room. So dividing both sides by ln of 1 half, this will get rid of this ln on this side. And we'll be left with t over 37. Now our ln over ln one half divided by ln of one half divides out, so I no longer have to write this, is equal to now we will have ln of one fifth. Now remember we divided by ln of one half, so we need to do it to both sides. So this is going to be divided by ln of one half. Now lastly, we want to get rid of this 37. So we're now going to multiply both sides by 37. Since this is division, the opposite of division is multiplication, which is why we're multiplying by 37, to get rid of this denominator here. So next we will have t. Since I multiplied this by 37, the 37's will cancel out, is equal to. Now I need to multiply this side by 37. So I will have 37 times, now big brackets, I'm going to have ln of 1 fifth divided by ln of 1 half. I would now like you to isolate for t in the question you are given. 
Here is the answer you should have got. So now coming back to our question, we're now going to put this into our calculator. So we're going to have ln of 1 fifth divided by ln of 1 half. To get that number, we're going to multiply that by 37. And you should find that your final answer is t equal to 85.9. Now lastly, we need our concluding statement. Now our time is going to be in years because our half-life took 37 years. So we know our time is in years. So to decay 12 grams, it took 85.9 years. And this will be our concluding statement. Therefore, it would take 85.9 years for 12 grams to decay. I would now like you to solve for your final answer. In your question, it would take 70 years for 9 grams to decay.